my grandfather had three, four sons in the first war. That he, he had three brothers in with him. One fellow was killed. He was another in the, uh, marine engineer. He was he was killed at the uh, off the Isle of Wight. They were picking up survivors from a boat that had been torpedoed, and they didn't realise it. But the the U-boat was still circling around, and uh, they caught the, they got the next torpedo in the engine room, and he was he, that finished him. And then another brother. He was in the trenches. He was he was in the Yip and the Somme and all these things. He told me he went out to Australia afterwards, and he came back. He came back to the Isle of Man to die. But he said it was too cold to die in the Isle of Man, so he went back to Australia again. <laughs> but uh, he said how he, if you stepped off the duck boards uh, in, in, in the trenches, he said you were a drowned man, you were up to here in the mud. He said, you know, it was desperate. And he, he got, the only injury he got was a, was, a, was a shrapnel in the wrist. And he said, yeah, he said, you remember there's a, I got a mark there on my wrist. He said, that, that was shrapnel. You know, he said, I went to the medical orderly and he said, hold your hand out. He, said, he held his hand out and he poured the iodine on it, ran in there and ran out the bottom. He said, it was a clean hole. You can imagine what it was like.